Hi guys, Rob from Them Gamers here, and this time I'll be starting a series on Kerbal Space Program. It's a very, very good game. Um, I'm going to do this first episode like a tutorial to the new sand. No, it's not the sandbox that's just been released. It's the career mode. Silly me. I've had too much caffeine today. Um, yeah, the career mode has finally been released, and in order to progress, you need to get science. So you do experiments and whatnot. These little green fellows here are your Kerbal Nauts. They're little green happy faces. They're rather stupid and, um, well that one's upside down, as you can tell. Yeah, uh, very, very good game, but I thought that I'd wait until the career mode came out. Oh God, I am flustered for words today. Um, yeah, uh, let's start a new one the career mode. In career mode you have to manage all aspects of your space program. Note, this mode is still under development. The game's still in like alpha so it's only 0 0.22 if you see at the bottom. Um, right, what can our company be called? We need um, Rob Corp. begin the career Ooh. uh yeah I've played it quite recently with um the career now being into it it's been amusing very very fun uh if you have played the previous versions then you'll notice that this little bit is new this is the research and development bit where all of your science goes and you unlock new things um, we have the astronaut complex, where all your little Kerbin arts are just right in there. Just, ah, oh, little babas. Let's have a gander at them. So, right at the beginning, we have Jebediah Kerman. His courage and stupidity pretty much weigh themselves out. Bill Kerman, he is um, Christian's favourite Kerbal. Uh, <laughs> Chris loves Bill. Uh, I'm one of my older ones when I was telling him about Kerbal Space Program. He actually, like, well, I, I told him that one of my crews wouldn't come back. Uh, they were basically stuck in orbit around Kerbal. And, um, they died. Well, they didn't die, they're still not dead. They're just orbiting around. But I decided to try and get one with its jetpack out, and, uh, it did not. He uh, ran out of jetpack fuel, and now he's just orbiting the planet over and over again. Right, anyway, back to the tutorial. Uh, tracking station, that's where, like, when your missions are out on different planets or on the moons and stuff like that, you can actually see where your things are and take control of them there. The VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building, where you develop all your, where you build all your rockets and whatnot. That's the launch pad, where you launch your rockets. The space plane hangar, where you build a plane, because you can fly around Kerbal, and also you can build a plane to send to another planet or another moon and just glide around and fly and discover new things. It's such an awesome game. Anyway, um, to begin, let us build a rocket. Now, because I'm doing career mode, when I unlock, I will have very, very few parts. Like, hardly anything. And that's my command pod. That's where your Kerbal sits and controls your vessel. Right, um, so he'll be sat in there all snug as a bug. It tells you things that you want to, like, SAS equipped, that's like helps you control it, the torque, that helps you control it. Also tells you electric charge, now that's going to be quite annoying because we haven't unlocked solar panels yet. Uh, we only have one liquid fuel engine, a solid fuel booster which is small, and one fuel tank. So we have to get science to unlock, we haven't even got any control, we've got some struts. Aerodynamics, utility, science, and they've released an uh, amazing feature where, say, you build a lander or something, or the base of a rocket, you can now store it in a sub assembly thing and use it again for another one rather than building the entire thing all over again. Um, if you like Kerbal Space Program and want more in depth tutorials 
like this is going to be a tutorial and like a playthrough like so a little bit fun you'll learn a little bit you know keep the keep the dream alive um but i really really like um scott manley he does great like i, I watching his first one on um the tutorial well it wasn't a tutorial but like the first thing that he did in sandbox and uh, sandbox first thing he did in korea and he managed to go where he, he he managed to do a lot of things and get a lot of science in the very first one and in the second one he managed to get 6000 science which is very very large he's really really good at Kerbal Space Program and um, yeah like just terrific basically no we haven't even got any decouplers so is that five yeah let's just have five of them we're not gonna be able to do much other than uh, we can have we got any science we just have the community run so we haven't even got the experiment the only thing that we can really do then is just do EVA reports and reports around Kerbal to get a bit more science and unlock an experiment we have next to nothing the parachute very important um, there is a way of making these so then they um, solid fuel boosters basically push themselves off in staging I don't know how to do that so this is just going to be a very very simple rocket it's just going to go up maybe curve a bit and then down hopefully um, I have no idea why I set it up so much right uh, now so that's basically for the tutorial aspect that's basically what you control your vessel in where your kerbal will sit and if you look it will tell you the minimum crew operate one uh, I think that you can only have one in these command mark one ponds uh, these are your fuel tanks 90 so 90 times 5 I've got 450 fuel well 450 liquid fuel these are solid fuel boosters they give like you can read all the things there um, a liquid fuel engine. Now we will get a better one soon because pretty damn soon we will get one that has thrust vectoring which means that we'll be able to tilt and go places a lot better. And let's just put that parachute right to the top. Now what what should we call this? Oh Jesus Christ. The sound effects like ah too much caffeine. Um a sound effect basically scooped around my head with my headset on and that was pretty damn creepy so let's see what can we call this we can call this uh, rocket mark one description science bitch we shall probably get hardly any next to none let's save it just in case it's a really, really shitty one, but let's go for the launch pad. Let's see how far we get. Hopefully, far-ish. Little music, a little bit of slow jazz. Right, let's hope that we don't tip. Um, first thing, resources. Now, a cool thing that they've added is stage only, but since this one has one stage, there is absolutely nothing to do. Um, uh, and the that's fucked up. That should be at the top, right? T for SAS. That's going to start draining. Yeah, it's draining the electric charge. Ready? T minus five. Oh, we've got Jeb. Hey, hey, Jeb, cheeky bastard. Um, T minus five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. And the rocket has deployed. Uh, the parachute has deployed. Terrific, terrific. Revert flight to VAB. Well, that was fun. <coughs> um, let's add another. Just 
to make sure. So basically the staging will now go. I forgot that. <sighs> Trust it to be the tutorial that I record. I forgot about these. I thought I would go up in just space of each other, but you actually need a box. So three, two, one, and then the parachute. Save and launch. Let's try it this time. Hopefully, we will get better results. <coughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Alright, so here we are in the launch pad. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. We can do a crew report. 1.5 science. Let's keep that data. And T to SAS support ourselves. Oh, this is rolling quite badly. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off! There we go. See, that ain't that bad. We got a nice little launch. Yeah, yeah. The only bad thing is that we haven't got any decouplers. And Jeb's face, he looks very happy. Why are you overheating? Stop overheating. Stop it. Um, yeah, space bar is just set off. Then you use space to change. And, oh, we're up almost 10 to change again. So this one, turn it up a bit. Then when we get to 10,000, we start turning. To go into a gravity turn, turn to the right on the 90. Try, try and keep it on the 90. By the way, I'm going off this little ball in the middle. It's called a grav ball. We'll probably reduce our fuel a bit. We want to be increasing the um, acceleration. And... But not to the point where like we're just bur wasting fuel. Jabby looks so confused. Oh, just want to hug him. Now this rocket is very light. That's why it's gone up so quick. You want to keep your rockets light, but for certain things you will have heavy, heavier things on board. So just keep that in mind when you start doing it. Um, I got mine on Steam, but it has been available on the Kerbal Space Program website for a few years now. I, I only realised about it when it was on Steam. Um, it's £18 if anyone's interested. It's a terrific game. Um, you can actually go to other planets and yeah, it's absolutely awesome. Maybe uh, when I have done a few more episodes I'll just show you some of me basically just landed, like already landed on other planets just to show you what it's like. Um, but if you follow the series, I'll probably end up getting the, like, getting to another planet sooner or later. Uh, we're 40,000 up. Now, a huge, huge thing that I... F5 is my best friend on this game. For the simple fact that F5 is... Oh, I'm still in atmosphere, I forgot about that. F5 is quick save. So if anything goes wrong, quick save and quick save and quick save um... right let's just check emmy's map our apoapsis which is the highest point of our thing is sixty thousand that's still just in the atmosphere it's forty seconds away though so that isn't too bad we're not going to be able to get into orbit but we will be able to do some hopeful eva reports and what not is, yeah that's increasing crew hat can do another crew part over right one got like 3.5 we could send it back possibly should I? I haven't got any e send it back it's only 3.5 oh I didn't add it I didn't add the comms bollocks I'll have to crew part over right crew part keep that up right what's our part is 67 and you can control it from here by having the grav ball up. So let's just give us a little bit of a boost. Oh, resources. Stage only. No. Oh, okay. Our liquid fuel is less than 100 now. So just a big and throttle down. 69. And 70. So now when I approach that, I want to be burning on this marker, which is called the prograde marker which means that it will 
expand your um, orbit or your trajectory, should I say? Fuck it, let's just burn it now. As you can see, the apoapsis isn't really changing. Maybe I'll bring it back a bit, it'll still go up a little bit. Tiny bit, a few meters a second. But as you can see, that is really increasing. And if I would have had more fuel, I'm going to run out about now. To be honest, I probably should have kept some of that fuel for my landing. But hey ho, um, right now, am I out? F5, yep, quick save. Now I can, every time that I do an EVA report, which is basically you take your Kerman off of the, like, out of outside, basically he just decides to fuck off and float away. So let's hope he sticks on. He's stuck on. Happy days. You're a good one, you Jeb. You're a fucking good one. 5.6 in Kerbin upper atmosphere. You start, <laughs> you're starting to feel you should really get back into the ship. Let's keep that data and board. I'm surprised I haven't got one high over Kerbin waters. <coughs> um, if you press C, you can go into your little command pod and you can see everything. Like, here's your little nav ball. You can still control it from in here. And you can't actually see where my mouse is, but right in the middle of the screen now, that little dial with the three buttons below it and the one to the top right of it, that little dial is um, basically a surface, it tells you how far away from the surface you are. Uh, so that's really good for when you're landing. You've got a little window here. Let's see if we can angle it for, I might take the uh, thumbnail while I'm in here. If I can get a good one about the, uh, about Kerbal, and I am not getting to Kerbal out. There we go. Hmm, that's a nice one. Should we have it? Which way? Which way? I'll take one. Now it'll say screenshot popped up. There we go, and a little beep. Right, uh, see, see if we can get a better one. But I don't. Am I still over the waters? I am, and I believe. Oh, I do have some electric charge, but some. Oh, there we go. It wasn't turning. Another F5. I uh, can't. I'm in the atmosphere. Well, let's just pray to. God that this thing will be able to, that the parachute will be able to hold the entire thing. It should be able to, I hope. I uh, probably should take SAS off because it's just draining my fuel. Uh, my fuel, my electric charge. Your parachute will activate 500 meters above ground. Oh, oh, oh sweet Jesus, I'm not landed on a. Oh. Um. Oh, come on. Spin, Kerbin, spin. Spin. Don't. It looks like I'm gonna make it into water. Just about, hopefully. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, 15, 15, 15. Uh, you want to be facing. Yeah, alright. When you're coming down, you want to be facing the pro. Uh, the. Pro grade? No. Pro grade and. I forgot what this one's called. But the one with the cross in it. Now you see my surface, uh, the act thing's smooth, slowing down a lot because I'm facing against it. So it's got the most surface area. And just keep with it, keep with it. We're 7,000 above. I could open my parachute now, but. What the fuck? Yeah, I'll open it. Now it will, o like, you can open it at any point really, but it will only deploy when you are um when you're 500 meters above where you go ab above the surface sorry now if i go into c you can actually see that dial moving down soon not the one that's actually moving now the one with the little orange pointer at the end and it tells me my surface 118 i'm still on the marker 1312 now you can yeah you can see it slowly move down the little orange dial the that's basically telling you the surface from there. I forgot looking out the window. Nothing. 
97 and the parachutes just deployed you could hear it and yeah it looks like we're going to be getting home safe and keeping that five science or something like that that really minute science thing yeah uh, and with each science like you'll be able to on like the beginning bit you bite basically you've got the science you've got well you've got the science from like the crew report you've got the science from um eva reports uh from higher higher medium and on the ground of planets Ooh, jesus that blew up the fuel tanks but jebediah is still safe he's still beautiful um right i believe wait i'm just going to recover the vessel and i shall leave it there thank you for watching and don't forget to wait wait for it to load something could go terribly wrong 17 science so we didn't do too bad uh, yay three experiments we covered tells you there done right so thank you for watching this first episode of Kerbal Space Program with me Rob from Them Gamers um, I hope that it's been informative as a tutorial I'm sorry if I'm not too good I don't really know that much myself um, but thanks for watching don't forget to like comment rate and subscribe if you enjoyed this video I've been Rob Signing off. Have a great day. Bye.